Oxford. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's very close to my heart, and I know by the end of this short video, it'll be very close to yours also. Now, what I'm about to show you is very distressing, so you might want to send younger viewers away from the television for these short couple of minutes. Now, you may be aware of the various epidemics that are sweeping our globe recently. Malaria, Ebola, and diarrhea are just a few. But these combined forces of these terrible diseases and epidemics do not match the scale and catastrophe that is caused by the epidemic I'm going to be talking about. Poor people! Poor people! The most visible virus of them all, most find them no more threatening than the common cold or migratory apple. But to those in the know, these will pose themselves the bacteria to make them uncomfortable to leave their homes, have a nice trip to the shop, or even a nice little meal. They are being starved! With the help of a bank statement being set as this recent cover photo, I managed to track down one of the many victimized 1.2% affected by this low-life epidemic. Mr. Nigel Floodbottom of 41 Bledwatt Avenue, Canterbury wished to remain anonymous for this interview, and so his head has been marked. This is the first time he has left his house since Blair's new labour. He's only done so today, as we have brought security with us to shoot any passing poor people in the face. Mr. Floodbottom. I wish to remain anonymous for this interview. Ah, sorry. I understand that there's something that's particularly close to your heart. An epidemic, you call it. Do you mind telling the audience at home what exactly this epidemic is? Well, well, well indeed, Philip. And frankly, since Waitrose went online, it's been so much easier. Yes, I do love getting my mango fruit fresh in the coast now. Oh, well, I, I, I like the pork pies myself. Oh, pork oh, pies. Oh, yes. Very nice, very nice. Oh. But, you know, I mean, obviously I couldn't go to the shop. Because the poor people, I mean... Well, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you'd think someone like Breitrose, obviously, there'd be very little contamination. Yeah. And apart from the few had strayed from the path of Aldi, it'd be oh, naturally yeah. empty, but... What, who do you think's pe charging you for the food? Touching every item as it goes through the machine! The poor people! <laughs> Comfy rhubarb. Um, good, good God! Love it! Love it! Love, it. Love the pictures myself! But yes, I've been living off Tesco's finest for the past four years. It's not been the same. But even with, with online delivery, you have to still face the poor people. I mean, they come up to your house and knock on your door! It's disgusting! I've had to get my butler Benji there to collect the items. But, but what, Mr. Fudpossum, has exactly, what exactly has been stopping you from leaving the house. And I want to know now, as many of the people at home do as well, when was the last time you went out of your house? And what for exactly? It was, uh, 12, 11 years ago. Not yet. It was Harrods. The uh, store in London, yes? Yes, yes. I was, yes. I was going to buy a teddy. Uh, this, this teddy, in fact. Um, oh, it's cheap. Um, I named Benji after my butler. Oh, of course. Um, but, um, but yes, I was there, and it was so busy. So busy. And I, I didn't really think about it at first. But then it dawned on me. Yes. What was causing this busyness? The poor people. They were... They were just browsing the products that they clearly could not afford. I mean, in their poor people clothes and their more poor people germs and their poor people shit. I knew from that day I was never going to leave my house again. I see, I see. No, Mr. Van Bottom. Hey. No, thank you. I'm staying off the cafe. Decaf. No, I'm, I'm really okay, thank you. Coffee? No, it's got more caffeine in, hasn't it? Decaf? No. Red Bull? No, I wouldn't feed my pet rabbit to that. A, a monster? No, thank you. Simon? Oh, you, 
You've got to try that. It was home brewed by Benji's family. It is. And then, Mr. Fernbottom, I, I would like to speak to your daughter now, if that's okay. I wish to remain anonymous for this interview. Yes, yes, but I, I really must speak to your daughter now. Okay, I guess. Mr. Frontbottom's 12-year-old daughter, Juniper Frontbottom, has been hugely affected by the four-person epidemic. She tells us why. Because of those nasty people who have no money, my daddy can't get me nice things. And that makes me very sad. Oh, I see, I see. And what do you think, and the people at home are probably wondering as well, what do you think can be done about this? We should put all the poor people in one side of the world and then all the posh people in the other and then we should put a nuclear attack on the nasty people. Well, I must say, this is quite an ambitious move and I think the people at home are probably wondering this as well. Now, why, Mr. Fudbottom's daughter, do you think this is the best way of solving it? Because then all the poor people will be dead and then I can get my toys and makeup. Well, I, I, I don't think... That, that's that, perhaps the best way of solving it, Mr. Fudbottom's daughter. I mean, I'm all for social dynamite and all, but I really don't think this is the way forward. You think I'm a meanie. Now, now, young lady, I didn't say that. You think I'm a big fat meanie and a neo-Nazi idealist. Ah, Daddy! Calm down. Ah! What's going on in here? He was mean to me and opposed my political viewpoint. How could you do this? <laughs> and my daughter, I strongly deny those allegations and the people at home will agree with me. She was exaggerating. I was merely doing my job as an interviewer. Oh, don't try that on me, Broxman. I trust my daughter more than anyone on this earth. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What is your salary? Well, quick, finally, that's none of your business, you Salary? Great... <laughs> I will tell you, my salary, like my various other colleagues, is a modest salary for any good, well-established news broadcaster. <sighs> poor person! We've got a poor person in here! What? Poor person! I think we need to leave now, Dennis. We need to go now. Dennis, go! Dennis, man! We need to go! We need to go! Oh, 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 oh. And as you can see, viewers at home, I, Philip Bosman, have just witnessed a catastrophe, an epidemic, <laughs> and a war scene. I have never experienced such vulgar and hooliganism in one place. So I can only call on you, the general public, to phone the line that's on the screen now and help this epidemic that is threatening our world and crumbling our society. Thank you. Top, 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 hell. Top 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 hell. Top 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 hell. Top 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 hell. Bada 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 da. Bada 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 da 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 da. I'm gonna dodge the bag by being able to afford it. Uh uh, I'm loaded. That a guy above you. I am fucking awesome. Oh, you can do something. Oh, like, man, have a drink? 
to the light of my bones from the taxpayer. I sip my whiskey soda down trusty the fellow's like, my, what a refreshing beverage. Rolling expenses, thanks to my father, he owns the bank and I feed off the riches. Use it for my bars and my drinks and my bitches. Probably should have used it to help the less fortunate. I'ma sit my grandpa's off. No, for real. Ask my grandpa, can I have his hand me down? Damn, you don't need no more. I need it now for some real top stacking. For a broken economy, let me help out the economy. I bought a small can of sweets just to press the commoners. Hello, hello, got me looking mellow. What does that mean, man? You just what is it was? Better put a joke to me for one morning training. Quack pie out. I'm a twat. I'm gonna go to the bank, but we ain't going to afford it. I am a very bad rocky. I am talking awesome. Saints accept the ball. This pleb is not legal. He's fucked our kids tomorrow. How's that work? I just don't know. This saints accept the ball. This pleb is not legal. He fucked our kids tomorrow. How's that work? I just don't know. I'm gonna dump some tags by being able to afford it. Ah, 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 People. Do it, Red Pill. Helping those who are so well off. Horse crap.